Hi, I've got something incredibly cool to show you today, at least I think so. Here it is on the screen. So watch this section here, this Nike shoe section as I scroll. Can you see how it's not going anywhere? It's sticking. But what's really cool is when I get to a certain point, it will unstick. And I think this is so cool. Here's another example of it here. This section down here, this men's clothing page, as I scroll down the page, the important stuff is staying stuck, but the other stuff is moving. And again, there we go, that's how it works. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Here we go. Block of the week, block of the week. Yeah, block of the week. Which block is it going to be? Well, you will have to stick around, my friend, and maybe you will see. Right, so the way we create this really cool sticky effect is we're gonna use a plugin, a free plugin called the Sticky Block for Gutenberg Editor plugin. I will put a link to it in the description, but if you just Google Sticky Block for Gutenberg, you'll probably come here anyway. It's got a thousand downloads. It hasn't been updated for a while, but it's working great. Uh, if I just flick to my product page, I'll just show you the structure of how I built it. Now I think this, this sticky blockness works best when you're using columns, because if you think about it, you've got two or three columns and one of those columns is gonna stay sticky while the other columns are, are gonna move up and down. In fact, let me just leave this and show you this product page. So in this left-hand column, that's kind of the sticky one. And as I scroll up, can you see this is not sticky? Now, if that's why I think using columns is a great idea because if you didn't use columns, this bit would come over that bit if you say if it was all in one and it would kind of look a bit messy. So I think if you're gonna use it, I can't think of any other way to use it apart from with columns. But I think it's fantastic to use in columns, especially on things like, you know, a customized WooCommerce category page where you might traditionally have a sidebar. And the problem with using a sidebar is it will flip to the bottom uh, when somebody's viewing it on a mobile phone. But actually this stuff over here is probably going to be some of your most important stuff. So in this one, I've put top sellers and I really want that to be at the top on mobile. And of course, if I do resize this, because we're using blocks, let me just show you this. Can you see how that bit will actually go on the top of the page, which is kind of exactly what we want. So it's like a sidebar, but much, much better than a sidebar. It also looks great because it sticks. So I've put top sellers in here. And on this one, I've put this, the sort of the really important stuff, the add to cart, the add to basket button on here. Um, so let me just flick back to the edit screen and I'll show you how it works. It's pretty straightforward. There are a couple of things you need to just get your head around, but they're, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, on this page, I'm actually using a block outline plugin just so we can see the structure quite easy. It's a cool free plugin. I'll put a link to that in the description as well for you. It just shows us how I've built this. So I've I've created a two column layout. In fact, let's look, look at the list view. I've used two column layout. Here we go. This is actually this cover block is the one underneath here. Here, a two column layout. Let's go back to it. Here we go. And within the first column, I have put. I started off by putting the sticky block. Now the sticky block is actually a block and what's nice about it, it's a container block so you can put other blocks within it and make them all stick together. So you can see here within this, I've used, this is our plugin that lets you customize the WooCommerce product page. I've added the Woocom, the WooBuilder product title, this one here, and then some other WooBuilder blocks and a few paragraph blocks underneath. That's how we've got this. Okay, and then in the second column, I've just put a product gallery, just a gallery, a normal WordPress gallery. But let's go back to the sticky block. Um, and here you see over in the settings panels, the options you, that come with the sticky block. So it's got some really well thought things in here. I love this, this space between the sticky block and the top of the screen. So you can have um, some margin between the top of the screen and when the block starts to stick. Otherwise it's just gonna stick to the top, which isn't always right. This is really cool. This is so well thought out. So move the block down a little. If there's an admin toolbar, that's, that's really cool. That means you can still see it when you're testing things out because you're logged in. Uh, and then this is cool. So the block should not be sticky on screen smaller than a thousand I put in here. And that means on a mobile, it won't be sticky because you don't really want it sticky on a mobile because then it's gonna start to overlap things. And then this one is kind of, um, the default value is like a lot. So you, I can't think you're ever gonna say you don't want it sticky on sticky wider than certain screens. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So just leave that alone. Then this this is really, really cool. This is this push up push up element is kind of the key bit to it. You can kind of get your head around the fact that um, this this thing is going to be sticky. So as I scroll up, it sticks. Yeah, this whole section is set as sticky because I've used the sticky block. 
But what's really cool about it is this push-up element. And what the push-up element means is when I get to a certain point, this is going to unstick itself and start to go with the natural flow. How cool is that? Okay, which means it doesn't start to overlap the sections beneath it. So I've got this lovely cover block and the sticky block just flows up really naturally. It's so cool. Um, let me just flip back to the edit product screen so you can see that. And what you do here to get to get that bit to work, just make sure you've got the sticky block selected. What you have to do, you have to give it a class element. Okay, you give it a class. I've, I've just given it a class of dot stick in that case. And then, and that's the push up element. That's the thing that's gonna kind of, gonna, if you think about it mentally, the thing that's gonna push that sticky sticky block, continue to push it. And then you go down to, in my case, I went down to, I think it was the cover block in here. And in here in advanced, I actually put that class. I've got a few other classes in here, but can you see I've got this the sticky class in there. And that basically means when this block hits this block, start to unstick yourself okay so that's the, that's the really cool thing about this that you can have these beautiful let me show you again this beautiful thing where you scroll down but then as soon as it gets near this it unsticks itself because we've told it to and it moves up naturally the same with this one that's all i've done with this one as well yeah this one's made sticky using the sticky block and then as i scroll up i've got a push up here which then pushes it up. And I put it up a bit earlier. I think I put the push up class in that one because I wanted it to push up, to start to push up before it got close to my other heading down here. Okay, so, and to add a, to add a sticky block is, is really, really simple. Let me just show you how you do this. Um, and again, I've got the outline on here, but it is just a block called sticky. You add it into your page. And again, I would use this in columns. So it really, for me, it only really makes sense if you use this in columns. And then you'll see your settings over here on the right. So there we go, have fun. I hope you love that one. I think it's super cool. It's a free plugin called Sticky Block. If you like this video, if you can give it a thumbs up, that'd be fantastic because it really helps spread the word. And if you want to see more Gutenberg block editor videos, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I release new ones. So that's all for now and I'll see you soon.